What's up everyone? Welcome back to Living Survival. Today we're going to take a look at a product from MSR. We're going to take a look at one of their combo stove uh, systems. It's a windy day today, perfect day to show you guys how this thing works since it doesn't require a windscreen. So this is the MSR wind burner stove system combo. Quite an expensive piece of kit from MSR. It is quality built though and it does work really well. You get this two uh, and a half liter sauce pot and then you get the uh, the eight inch uh, ceramic skillet. Both are ceramic coated. They are really non-stick. I used this skillet uh, over the weekend to uh, bake some pizza in. I put a plate over the top and baked some pizza and it didn't stick at all without any oil in there. So definitely really nice uh, non-stick coating on there. On the bottom they have the wind burner ring that fits right on the, uh, the wind burner portion of the stove. You've got the uh, removable handles. You get a handle for each the pot and uh, and for the pan then you've got a nice clip here on the top of the uh, pot that allows you to strain out things like noodles without the pot or the uh, the lid coming off the uh, the handle does nest right on this little rubber uh, rubber uh, lip here on the top of the uh, the pot and then your stove uh, nest down he in here as well. So you do get the uh, stove. Now this is a radiant burner stove. It's not an open flame like the pocket rocket. So very, very efficient and it's not as prone to wind as something like an open flame stove like the pocket rocket or the MSR universal. So today we have a windy day. The wind is, is, is blowing towards this stove and uh, I don't think we'll have any problems at all even without a uh, windscreen. But you can see here in the sauce pot, very nice non-stick coating so very high quality uh cookware here and that's what you're getting with that price the burner is very simple to use you just pull these legs out and then kind of click open uh and it's so it's very stable when you set it on the uh the table here very stable and then you have your regulator now this does have an actual pressure regulator in it so what that means is uh, no matter how full your canister is and even in colder temperatures it's going to maintain that same pressure uh, or same heat going to the uh, the burner so it allows you to cook at a very high heat or it allows you to simmer you do get sort of a hot spot in the center and again when we were doing the pizza you know you did get uh, definitely more burnt in the center here so things like pancakes and things like that unless you're doing them in the center you know they're not going to work real well I suppose you could just do a larger pancake in the center so not really for um, doing things like pancakes or something that you know a pie or a pizza or something like that um, really not intended for baking anyway I just wanted to see if it worked and it did work but you definitely got that hot spot right in the middle so definitely better for um, you know pastas and sauces and soups and other things that you're just going to fry up like bacon or sausage or or even some chicken it's going to work way better for that attaching the regulator to the canister is just as simple as just screwing it on here and you're ready to go you've got your your valve here that you can open and close we'll keep that closed for now so i'm just going to do a simple chicken and pasta and marinara sauce sort of like a uh, chicken parmesan without the uh, the breaded chicken so you don't want to light this if you don't have anything in there but i'm going to go ahead and get this lit real simple you just turn on your gas here hit it with your lighter and she's lit Pop that right back on there. You can see it sort of nests itself in there, which is really nice. I'm just gonna put just a little bit of olive oil in there. It is non-stick. You can see that oil just doesn't even wanna stick it all to that pan there. You can see we're already sizzling here. Get some of that olive oil. Now it is quite windy but my burner is uh, is going real strong here. The wind just doesn't even affect it. It's blowing directly underneath that stove. If this were a conventional stove, that flame would be out. It'd be a pain. You'd have to have a windshield on the side here, but not with the, uh, not with the radiant stove. You can see with this burner, you can really get this thing rip roaring. Turn that all the way up and that's a ton of heat. Add a little Himalayan pink salt to this and some garlic and herb seasoning.
Oh yeah. That is looking delicious. Nice thing is you can just pull these right off. And uh, put your next pot on there. Very, very quick to boil. The stove is so efficient, I've had to turn it almost all the way down to keep it from boiling too hard. My noodles are about done, so again, I'm gonna take that off the burner, pop this one back on. You're gonna use all that good chicken drippings there and get my onions my garlic in here so one of the nice things about this lid here is you can stick that side in the notch and you can flip this up and then it's got a hands-free way to strain out your noodles Now I'm not going to strain it all out so I'm just going to add sort of everything back in this pot and finish it up Add some Italian seasoning in there. Some shredded Parmesan. And some mozzarella. Gonna mix that all up and let it get nice and nice and cheesy. So as you can see, you can have real food at camp using a cook system like this. I'm not sure you can see it, but on the bottom, you can see there that it's not sticking at all. That's gonna make cleanup a breeze. So, you know, again, that's what you're getting. You're getting this really nice, high quality ceramic non-stick surface, really efficient cooking system. Look how cheesy and good that looks. Get another bite of this here. Super cheesy. Mm. And that's what I'm talking about. Real food at camp. Easy to make. Easy to clean. Slamming. So this system retails for $259, which in my opinion is a little bit steep. Now it does have the quality that MSR generally has with their products. It does have the ceramic non-stick. It does have the radiant burner. So it does have some features that maybe set it apart from some of the other uh, less expensive systems out there, but 259, you know, maybe a little bit uh, expensive. Does it work well? Yes. Is it high quality? Yes. But I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment uh, section below. There will be a link if you guys want to pick one of these up or any other product uh, from MSR. There'll be links for that as well. If you guys ever have any questions on stove systems or any other gear, let me know in the comment section below. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. Links will be below for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you share it to friends and family on your social media who might be interested. And make sure you click that red subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of new videos.